shame that investors will look and say the president of Nigeria has certificate problem. Is it not a shame that the world is reporting? You are the head of Voice of Nigeria, so amplify the interest of Nigeria. Have you been reporting this? I'd like to ask you first to your foreign audience. It's not a thing of a shame. And is that not supposed to be the bulk of the conversation rather than matters that people will judge you to be a medicine interloper for? And let me get the facts right for you. I think what Waka said before the elections that if the PDP zones to the southeast, it will not run. But it was never the case. There were other political actors. So that's not even the issue. Let's talk about this certificate issue. Let me show you something. Daily Trust newspaper, front page. It said birthday mismatch. There were three different birthdays of the president. Three different. So what's even his date of birth? 1952, 1954, 1955. Isn't, it, isn't that enough to talk that we don't even know the date of birth? Gender error? Female or male? What's the gender? Unanswered questions and also the events at the deposition. I think those are the substantive issues here. Those are the issues that are preventing investors from coming. I would like to have your take on that because those are the great issues on ground. As the DG of the Voice of Nigeria, that you project Nigeria's image. Let's talk about that, sir. Analyze for us. Why will somebody have three different dates of birth? Probably do you have three yourself? Ogatini Brown, the collect who do who do. This saga is too much, guys. Watch the video, then I'm gonna summarize. One love, guys. Watch there the are video. Rules. The same PDP fail in their own way. That's what I'm referring to. That we cannot burn down the house because of their first error of the leadership of the PDP. I'm not trying to defend any irregularity. But talk I about the irregularity. You're shying away from it, sir. The, talk about the irregularity. The, because that's the substantive no, matter no, in this story. I'm, I'm talk not, about the irregularity. You're shying away from it. Is it good for somebody to have three dates of birth? My brother. My brother. <laughs> my brother. Yes, sir. My brother. Yes, sir. Can I tell you something? Bless you, sir. Please, Go ahead, sir. Leave emotion out of it. Okay. Why do we have the presidential election petition court? And they said, if you lose there, you can go to the Supreme Court. In the next one or two weeks, or one month, or three, my Lord Justices will do a justice to the matter presented to them. But I'm saying before then, let us not forget, we are PDP. But, 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 but leaving emotion aside, sir, is what you are doing now, is it not the role of a medicine? Is it not the role of a medicine interloper? Because, sir, are you a member of the PDP? No. The substantive matter on ground is this discrepancy that we discovered in America. Now you are saying it's because of what the PDP did. That election has been won and lost. Let's talk about the issues. Talking about the saga, I mean the scenario that is going on between Ogatinobu and Atiku, it's not new. We all know what is going on, you know, concerning the certificate saga. But we all have our opinion. But this is just my take. Yeah, to start with, I must confess, I must say this, that is very bad. It's very bad, you know. It's good for you to show your real identity, who you are. Fake life is not good. I mean, as a president, the number one person, you know, I mean, what are the examples that you are showing your followers, those who are looking onto you? So it's very, very bad. Yeah, but then, guys, you know, this is my take, just like I said. I must, you know, say the fact by condemning the act. But then, guys, we have to be wise. Open your eyes. If we now said, okay, yeah, let's disqualify or got him because of the forged certificate is not you. Guys, then who is the next person that they are going to give? Remember Oga Buhari or whatever they called him when he was there. I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, it was no, no, no for me. So now, if we said, okay, now Oga Tinibu should be disqualified, the next person is the vice president. Either maybe they'll be giving it to the vice president or it will go back to North. Are we saying that let it go back to North? Let me know in the comment section what do you think. Because if we are talking about, you know, disqualification or maybe whatever which you know 
balance the equation, you know, we have to be wise as well. Is it not better for him to finish the four years? Then now we'll now start talking about the next things to do. This is just my take. I'm not like saying you should agree with me, but I try to balance the equation. I try to put one or two things. For me, if you ask me, I would say it, if they, are, they will give it to our excellency, p you know, providence for life. Then, I, of course, I dare your back. <laughs> yeah, then it's okay. But for the fact that according to the Constitution, you know, they said, if, let's say, Natinibu or Gatinibu is disqualified, the next person is the vice president that will take, you know, the position or maybe Atiku. Are we not saying they should go to Atiku, go back to North? For me, it's no, no, no. Except they will give it to Peter B, then I will not say yes. But if they will not, it's better Ogatinibu stay there and finish the four years. Then after the four years, then we will not talk about the next person, which is Peter B. So guys, let me know in the comment section, what do you think? It's not a new. The saga has been going, you know, viral in social media that the certificate is forged. And you know, the gender we are talking about is not men, it's women. We all know about it and everything, you know, has been pub uh, published there, and we all saw it. So but let me know your opinion. A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot opinion has been going. This one says this qualified, this one says this. But let's be wise and put our hands together so that we'll come out with a good result. One love, guys. Give the video a thumbs up, and let's keep rolling. Watch the video. Thumbs up, guys, and watch the video. It's a question of the leadership has to show it. You have to start by saying, my name is Peter Obi, and from this time, I went to this primary school, this secondary school, this university. <laughs> Number one will be concerning what happened in Niger. What should we have done differently? Step-by-step -step approach, how we should have settled the matter of Niger out. And secondly, I want to also ask you, what would you have been doing to stimulate the Nigerian economy as we speak today? Because it's at an all-time low. And thirdly, I want to take you back to the last question I asked, because I want more clarity on that question. You said we should have devalued the narrative of 600, and look for money to defend the Naira. How long we will have, could we have done that for? Defending that currency. When we know that the factors, the market forces, are really hard on the Naira. It's just a matter of time. So those three questions are, as we start to wrap up. If I forget any of them, uh, Rufai will call you. On the issue of Niger, Rufai, I will not go out and first, let me say, it, I am completely against military intervention as a process of leaders emerging. Totally. If I'm a believer in a democratic process and through an elected, genuinely elected process. I know in Africa, as you can hear, actually question whether there's a difference between uh, military coups and elections, what we call elections, the way we do it with the rascality. However, I'm a Democrat and I believe in democracy, and that should be the process. Will I go to war again? Capital, no. Reason being, I'll go, reason being that we have war at home. You cannot go to war. Externally, when you have one at home. Yes, sir. If you look at our budget this year, because I want to link it to what you said about the economy, our budget this year is 21.5 trillion. About that. Our revenue, expected revenue, is about 10 trillion. 
which means we have a deficit of 53.5%, which is about 11.5 trillion. That's what you're lacking. That is all. Rufai, I read from the president, national security advisor, that we are losing 400, 400 barrels, 400 thousand barrels of food oil every day. If that is true, Rufai, if you multiply by our benchmark, which is below the, the pricing today. That's about $30 million a day. And you put $30 million in one year, it will be about 10 point nine or $11 trillion billion. $11 billion. About that, by $11 billion. If you say you use, we just said it's one thousand to dollar, but let's use nine hundred. If you use one thousand, you have eleven trillion. Nine, which I know is not all your money, but what does it show? So you have a deficit of eleven point five. You are losing about eleven trillion somewhere, and then what it then shows we find that. If you put this, consider illegal mining of our minerals all over the country by foreigners and locals alike, consider all the revenue leakages that is coming. What it then shows is that if you fight this war internally and be able to deal, this, deal with this, you can be able to generate a revenue of between 20 and 25 trillion. Uh, oh. By the time you now decide to even borrow additional 10 to make it 35 trillion, which is where our budget should have been today, I can tell you, not only have you reduced your borrowing to 30%, but all those things are achievable. So for me, the only one Nigeria needs now is war and insecurity. We have come to the end of this video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to press the bell notification so that each time I post a video, you'll be notified. And if you're new in my channel, you're highly welcome. Wow, keep supporting your game. And if you have not subscribed, subscribe and join this video family. I embrace all of you. I love you, my new, my old subscriber. You guys are so amazing. Wow. If you have not subscribed, subscribe and keep supporting your game. One love. Remember, put God first in whatever you're doing. And whenever you give up, no matter the circumstances. I love you guys. Give the video a thumbs up. Like, comment, and share. Bye-bye. I love you. I love you. Bye. One love.